Hi, this is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself. And happy Meatless Monday. In this episode, I want to address a topic that has recently come to my attention. I mean, I've known about it for a while, but recently it's just gotten to the point where I need to do an entire video on it. It's not something that I foreseeably would have done a video on, but I see it as being something I should do one on now. And that is the topic of protein intake, optimal protein intake for results. And, um, and the reason why I'm doing this on a Meatless Monday is not because, don't get, don't get me wrong, it's not because I think vegans don't get enough protein. No, rather, there seems to be this prevailing misconception regarding protein in the vegan community. So, now to get into it. In the uh, top corner of the screen over here, you're going to see a link to a very recent peer-reviewed paper by one of the top nutritionists, Alan Aragon, um, and, and others, of course, he was part of the paper, that goes into contest preparations for, um, for a natural uh, bodybuilder or physique competitor. Um, now that's important, I wanna, I wanna put that out there because it's very important, it's a peer-reviewed paper regarding athletic protein consumption, specifically in the bodybuilding world, where, you know, there's, people throwing so many different numbers around regarding how much protein intake to take, how much intake to get a day. But it also covers fat and carbohydrates. It's contest prep, essentially. But um, that's a paper I think it's important for people to read, and that's the full paper, and it's free and open and available online to anyone. So please give that a read. Now, to get into the subject of the video here regarding protein, um, and I'm going to be pulling details from that paper, so that's why I wanted to point that out first. For the average person, that, that means for the person who's just maybe getting a moderate level of activity today, just walking around, you know, going to work, whatever, just your average person who isn't necessarily going to the gym or even necessarily engaging in sport, or if they do, it's very sporadic. Yes, the recommended daily allowance for that person is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, so it's roughly about um, 0.4 grams of protein per pound of body weight a day. And that is fine as a minimum, I stress that, minimum for an average person. Not an athlete, you know, especially not a bodybuilder. For an average individual, that is fine. Now, when you start getting involved in athletics, your body is going to require more, not just more calories, but more of specific macronutrients. And especially if you're trying to cut body fat, it, it also depends on what your goals are as well. Especially if you're trying to cut body fat and maintain muscle. You wanna ensure you're getting enough protein to maintain a positive nitrogen balance. You don't want your body tapping into your muscle stores for, uh, for the amino acids. So you wanna ensure your protein intake is ample. Now for your everyday person is going to the gym three days a week maybe to lift some weights or not really going there you know and and going you know um ape shit in there they're not they're not you know going extreme in there they're just going in lifting some weights getting it done you know uh just to maintain a level of fitness for themselves 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight a day is just fine for someone like that now, if you're someone who has aspirations for physique and competition, perhaps you want to do maybe fitness modeling, or you just want to have a really a spectacular body or a body that performs very well, then I would recommend at low range, and this, again, is taking a look back at that paper I showed you earlier uh, that Alan Aragon was involved in, and that is um, one gram of protein per pound of body weight, or as high as 1.4 grams of protein per pound of body weight. That is per day. And that, can, that will remain a constant in your diet. And that will help you maintain a positive nitrogen balance. It will help you maintain muscle mass levels and or build muscle levels. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't go much below one gram. You know, I recommend to any hard training uh, person, whether they're a bodybuilder, crossfitter, 
you know, whatever, I recommend one gram, at, at very least one gram of protein per pound of body weight per day, which is a good middle range between the 0.8 and the 1.4 gram uh, recommendation um, window. So that is my take on protein. It really varies. To go around saying things like, you know, nobody should be taking in more than X grams per day of protein um, because the body can't you know, process more than X grams. First of all, that's a myth. And actually, there's a link up there you can read that's going to appear right now regarding that myth, actually. Um, so, uh, again, also written by Alan Aragon. Um, that is a total myth. And as well as uh, protein harming your kidneys. Again, another myth. And at the top of the screen, another link is going to appear that will uh, address that that also was written by Alan Aragon. He's very well respected, so that's why I'm passing these articles to you. I think they're very worth your while to read. Um, and then you'll have other vegans say things like, that. I want to put this out there as well, like eat 5% of your calories from protein. My problem with people giving blanket calorie percentages like that is it's arbitrary. 5% of what? Of what? If you're going to apply a percentage, what value are you applying it to? Is this maintenance? 5% of deficit? And if it is deficit, how much of a deficit? And is it a surplus? And if it's a surplus, how much of a surplus? Do you see what I'm getting at here? Percentages are arbitrary. So people who say that nobody should be eating more than 5% of their calories from protein, 5% of what? Explain yourself. You clearly aren't understanding how nutrition works if you're making that kind of a comment. You know, and... Well, anyway, the joke's on you. But the point here is that it should vary from person to person and their specific goals and their level of activity. So um, I think I've covered everything here. I'm sorry if I jumped around a bit. I'm sorry if it got a bit heated. Um, it's just something that I'm seeing annoyingly popping up over and over again, specifically in the vegan community. And I feel like it gives us vegans a very bad name. It makes us look like we're non-scientific, like we just jump on any kind of bandwagon that comes along. We have a cult mentality, etc., etc. These aren't good qualities to be associating with our, uh, with our movement, with our group. So I would like to try to get this education out there to people. That, um, so in recap, the amount of protein you consume is, is going to be based on, your, on you and your goals. And one size won't fit all. And you can cons and, and you can, your body can handle higher amounts of protein. There's no cap off to how much you be in a meal because your body suddenly is just going to like, you know, um, not be able to process it. And there's no uh, evidence to kidney damage to pro for pro protein intake. So all that should be put out there regarding protein. Um, hopefully I've put a lot of myths to rest and I've answer your questions. If I haven't, please drop some below in the comments. I'd be, I'd love to discuss. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys Friday for another episode. So stay fit, stay formidable, and stay fantastic. Have a good week, and I'll see you around.